What's up everybody, my name is Gabriel Showale, but you can call me K Show. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic title animation inside of After Effects. If you're ready, then let's get started. But before then, intro. To create a cinematic title animation in After Effects is pretty simple. So let's get straight into it on my laptop. Okay guys, so um, the first thing I'm going to do here is to create a new composition. And I'm going to name this um, text animation. Uh, weight is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30 frames, resolution, leave that in full, I'm leaving mine in third, duration is 6 seconds, background color is black, so I'll click OK. And um, the next thing I want to do is to create my text, so I'll come here and type animation. Alright, I'll put that right here and um, i'll change this to american captain so you can download this font free of charge online um, increase the font size okay i think something like this is good then i'll come to paragraph if you can't find paragraph make sure you go to window and turn on paragraph so i'll click on center and paragraph and then i'll come to align also if you can't find a line go to window you see a line right there check it on and that will allow me to center my text so i'll click on this guy here and then this one here to center my text all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is um going to come to effects and presets I'll come right here don't forget if you can't find it go to your window check it on i'll come here and um, go to animation presets go to text and go to tracking and i'll see decrease tracking i'll drag that drop that on my text and i'll click on my text here press u on my keyboard and i want to change this tracking amount to 100 okay looking good then i'll take this last one this last keyframe here select it and drag it all the way to the end right there so let me see how this looks like pretty good all right so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come to text here and type um cinematic cinematic title okay um bring that here then i'll change that to Mm, century gothic all right so we do the size of this very well and put that somewhere right here so we have cinematic type tool animation i'll go to align align this to the center so it stays at the center then i'll select both of them together come to this turn on my title action slash save so i can see where the center of my screen is and just center my text somewhere around there good all right so um let me turn this off and i'll come to my cinema cinematic title click on t on my keyboard to bring out opacity come around um yeah one second turn on my opacity keyframe change this to zero and move forward a little bit and change this to 100 okay so if i press play Great, I like this. All right, so I'll come here and select both layers. Right click and choose pre-compose. And let me change this to text. And choose move all attributes, click OK. All right, so I'll duplicate this text right here by pressing Ctrl or Command D twice. And I'll turn off this one on top. Select this layer here and go to my effects and presets and search for fill and add that to my text i'll change the color to black okay looking good all right so i'll also come back to the effect and presets search for matte choker 
all right drag that drop it here send the geometric softness to two change the iteration to four press enter all right looking good all right so i'll select these two layers here right click and choose recompose and then i'll change this to text outline and i'll choose move all attributes and click ok all right so you click here to hide this layer and click here to turn on the visibility of this layer okay the next thing is to bring in our project files so we'll go to the project menu and then you go to file import file bring in the files select everything and click open don't forget you can get um, these files from google just do a search for whatever background that you like and google gives you the result download them some are free some are paid all right great so i'll bring in this reflection map and put it right in between these two layers here i'll press s to bring up scale and scale it down a little bit and then maybe move this down a little bit right there looking good all right so the next thing i'm going to come to my effect and preset and search for motion tile drag it and drop it on the reflection map so i'll set the output width to 200 so that expands it and i'll click on mirror edges so it mirrors the edges all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'll select my reflection map i'll set a keyframe for my title center oops sorry make sure you go back to the very beginning click on the keyframe for title center and then go to the end and increase my title center something like this so it animates up from the beginning across the text like that all right so i'll come to the reflection map right click pre-compose and just name this reflection map click on move all attributes and click ok all right so the next thing is to change the track mat of this reflection map to alpha mat if you can't find track mat here it's likely you're on switches so you just come here and change between switches and modes switches and modes so make sure you're in mode that's where you see track mat so you change the track mat from none to alpha mat and then it puts that into the text right there great you can see what we have right now okay all right so i'll come to effect and preset and search for cc glass all right great i'll drag that and drop it into the reflection map and come to surface and change the bump map to our text outline okay so i'll change the softness to 30 change the height to minus 30 change the displacement to minus 500 okay uh looking good all right and then i'll come to light and change the light type to point light all right so back to my effect control i'll search for blobby lies okay and i'll drag that and drop it on my reflection map and i'll open up the blobbiness change the blob layer to our text outline all right and then i'll change the property to alpha i'll change the softness to six and i'll change the cut away to three good then i'll open up the light and change it light types change it to point light all right so let's make it pop more so i'll go to effect and preset and search for curves i'll drag that drop it on the reflection map and just adjust it a little bit right there uh, okay great looks good all right so let's create a new composition so i'll go to composition new composition i'll name that uh, main composition okay and i'll click ok then i'll go back to project bring in the background um, layer drop it into the composition then grab my um, text animation and drop that above the background all right so the next thing is to um, turn this text animation um, layer to 3d so i'll come here change this to switches 
now find the 3d icon there click on it to turn it to 3d i'll come to the very beginning of my animation open up the position by pressing p on my keyboard and click on the stopwatch and animate the z axis position all the way to the front till i don't see my text anymore so still drag in click and drag click and drag somewhere around here good so i'll leave that there then i'll go to forward a little bit maybe around two seconds and then i'll change this back to zero okay so if i press play you see it comes from all the way out and comes in great all right so select these two keyframes and um, right click choose keyframe assistant and choose easy ease okay so the next thing is to turn on the motion blur uh, for our text so i'll click on this big motion blur here to enable motion blur and then activate it for this layer right here okay so it gives it that blurriness at that beginning all right great all right so um let's bring in the lens flare so let me put this right here so i'll go to lens flare drag that and put that above my text and i'll go to modes change the blending mode from normal change it to add great i'll just drag that and put that somewhere around here mm, looking good all right so now we're going to create an adjustment layer to do that you can right click here and you see new and then you can choose adjustment layer all right and then we we'll come to effect controls effect and preset i mean you see curve right there drag it and drop it on your adjustment layer then adjust the curves to something like this to kind of make it lighter and you know bring down the shadows great so something like this looks good and changes to full so you can see it very well all right then also come here under the curve change the rgb to blue and let's adjust the blue something like this okay this looks good all right so um, let's add um, sharpen effect so i'll type sharpen right here i'll drag that drop it on the adjustment layer and um, let me close this up and then come to sharpen and change the sharpen amount to five okay so that sharpens it up and then i'll come here um, add noise drag that drop it on the adjustment layer and also change the amount of the noise to five okay all right so next we're going to create a new solid layer so i'll right click here choose new and choose solid i'm going to name this letter box okay uh make sure it's black and click ok all right so next uh make sure it's selected and i'll come to the rectangle tool double click on it all right and i'll come here also and double click on this then i can hold down control or command and alt and drag this down okay uh looking good okay then i'll come to max and change it from add to subtract boom and then our animation is ready so the next thing you can do is that you can bring in your audio so i'll go to download where i have my audio click drop it in and add your audio to your animation so you can also search online for a good audio something that would um, match well with your animation so that's it so we can press play right now and preview what our animation looks like and then we are good to go. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos like this and click on that notification button. Yes, click on it now or else I'll turn you to a chicken. Nah, I'm just joking. Click on the notification button if you'd like to get updates when I release new videos on my channel. Now, if you're a beginner and you'd like to get started with After Effects and learn it all the way from the scratch, I have an online course that will do that just for you. Check it out in the link in the description. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe and watch you. Subscribe now. Subscribe.